Hello, fellow bird lovers. I hope you're all having a fantastic summer. Thank you for weighing in your own thoughts on whether Inky was dreaming or not in my last video. It was so interesting reading your comments. Tonight's video, I shift my focus a little more toward Inky's mate, Filbert. But don't worry, Inky is still a big star and every bit as lovable as the previous ones. After this though, I think you're going to grow a big soft spot in your heart for her lovely mate. From the last video, around a half hour after Inky's seemingly last dream, dawn began breaking. The robins could be heard singing and Filbert's testosterone must have been high. He came to Inky's nest box very early to wake her up, like 10 to 5 in the morning. Just look at these endearing clips of him touching her with his bill, making little sounds and just waiting for Inky to get up while he was soaked from the rain. Inky's bad nightmares must have made her tired. She just didn't want to get up. Filbert tried and tried for 20 minutes before finally leaving to try a different tactic. Using the Phoebe song outside of the nest box to call to her. Must have worked because Inky seemed to stay up and just a couple of minutes later leaves the nest box. The next morning, Filbert had difficulty getting her up too. He once again came 20 to 5 in the morning, but this time he stayed in the hole looking at Inky while making some sounds. But Inky didn't budge. So Filbert just stayed there watching her. Brings to mind that creepy song from the police, Every Breath You Take, I'll Be Watching You. His little eyes blinking. My gosh, what was going through his cute mind, I wonder. He must think that Inky is a sleepyhead. Rather than staying there like that though, he turned around to look out of the hole instead. Inky woke up briefly but went straight back to sleep. For 10 minutes he looked out the hole, occasionally making little sounds and checking to see if Inky was getting up. Then he went in the box and tried waking her up again, but still nothing, so he left. Not too long after, he comes back and nearly lands on her. Then he comes back a minute later. This time he really tried getting her up. Did he do that on purpose? Inky didn't seem impressed, but nonetheless she went right back to sleep again. Inky really isn't an early bird, is she? The whole time, Filbert can be heard outside singing the Phoebe call. And finally, Inky starts showing signs of waking up. but she took her dear sweet time. Inky wasn't fully up and on the go until 20 minutes later. Wow, typical female, huh? The next couple of mornings, Filbert doesn't come in the box, only comes to the hole briefly and calls from outside. I think Inky must have had a talk with him. Stop waking me up so early. Do you know how tiring it is trying to lay eggs? Just when you think chickadees can't be any cuter, you get a glimpse like this. What a wonderful bird they are. And to think that outside so close to our homes are little adorable dramas like this happening all around. Precious beings living their fascinating lives. Speaking of fascinating, here is Inky all fascinated with the camera that she found in the nest box. Click the link on the screen now to see it. Thanks for watching. Happy birding. And one day, while she was down in the box, she looked above and then flew straight up to the camera. Like, hmm, what's this?
I suppose she must have seen her reflection in the lens.